In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your online course website or membership website with MemberPress. Coming up. MemberPress is a very powerful plugin if you want to build membership websites or even run an online course website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect everything all together. But before I begin, I'd like to remind you that if you buy MemberPress, you also get access to my MemberPress course, which teaches you how to create membership websites. And also, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so let's dive in and let's set this up and show you how this works. Right now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded MemberPress and installed it. And when you install it, you get this dashboard here on your main WordPress dashboard, which is great. So it shows you how much you're making and all that good stuff. Now, here's the thing. If you're running an online course uh, website, you are going to need to connect MemberPress with Learn Dash, so that when someone goes into a membership uh, in MemberPress, Learn Dash needs to know what is going on. So here's the thing. We're going to come over here to MemberPress, go to add-ons. So this is where you normally find all your add-ons that you need in order for, to connect with uh, other services. So here you can see if you want to connect this to uh, ConvertKit, you can connect it over here. You also have MailChimp. You also have MailPoet. This is uh, fantastic because I use MailPoet here. So we have this integration. And so this is where you'd come for integrations. Uh, but we are going to visit this later. Now, if you want to connect MemberPress to LearnDash, here's what we need to do. We're going to come over here to LearnDash. And LearnDash also has add-ons. So pretty much if you want to connect anything here, it's just the add-ons that you need to go to. So here I'm going to say MemberPress for LearnDash. So I'm going to click here on Install Now. So this is going to allow us to connect the two. So once these two are connected, the next step now is, there we go. So now it's been installed. I have to activate it now. So once activated, the next step now is to uh, make sure we have a course on our website and we also have a membership level. So uh, we're going to start with uh, membership levels. So I'm going to come over here to member press. I'm going to click on memberships. And let's add a new one here. So I'm going to click on add new and let's call this bought my course students. Okay. So anyone that buys the my course course, they get added to this membership. Okay. So I'm just going to publish this for now. Okay. Now you also need to make sure here on learn dash, you've set your course up already. So over here on learn dash, if I go to courses, you're going to see that I've set uh, my course, which is called my course. So I have my course all set up and now I've uh, just created a membership called bought my course students. Okay. All right. So the next thing we need to do here is to come over here. I can see we have a notification. I'm going to click on click here. So now this is uh, pretty much doing its process to uh, make sure that uh, everything is all connected. So there we go. I have my uh, list now, which is called bought my course students. Okay. So these are the students. So the next step now is to connect this. So I'm going to come over here and notice that on this membership here, I haven't added a price. So let's go in and edit this. So I haven't added the price here because I want uh, WooCommerce to control it. But if you want uh, MemberPress to do, to do that, it does a fantastic job of that as well. So you can come over here and set your price. So let's say this is $97. You can set it over here. The problem is, if you set up your price here, you are not going to have the option to use cart flows for your upsells and downsells. So it's up to you at this point what you want to do. So if you just have like, let's say, a single course and you don't really want to go into the upsells and downsells, this is where you add your price and this is how you set it up. But if you want to have your upsells and downsells and all that great stuff, you need to leave this blank and then connect this with WooCommerce. And then this is where Cutflows comes in because Cutflows works really well with WooCommerce. All right. So now that I have all this set, uh, what you're going to find here is a new tab which says Learn Dash. And this is where the connection comes in. So remember, this is our membership level. So if I come over here, I can then connect my membership level to my course. Now, I only have one course here, but if I have more, I can then select which course I need to link MemberPress to. So I want this one here linked to LearnDash, and pretty much that's all I need to do. This is all set. I can hit update. So now 
when people buy this course, they then get access to this membership level, which is fantastic. Now, let me just show you quickly because this might be confusing because I've called my first course, uh, my course. So if I come back over here to courses, I can then let's say create a brand new one and uh, let's call this one here. In fact, let's click on add new. So let's call this one here, how to create a course. Okay, so this is gonna be our course. I'm gonna hit publish, publish one more time. So this is going to be our course. So back over here to courses, you are going to see now that we have two. Now, here's what we need to do. If I go back now to, to member press and click on memberships. Now, if I go back to this very first memberships, uh, membership that I created, if I click now on Learn Dash, you're going to see now that I have that other course that I created. So this is how you'd connect these memberships. So let's say this membership here, let's create another one. And this time, let's call this how to create a course, students. There we go. I'm going to hit publish. And then if I scroll down here, I can then link up this with how to create a course. Hit update. So as you can see now, these two courses are siloed into specific membership levels. So these two membership levels do not integrate. So if let's say the students on how to create course try to access the my course course, they are going to get an error message and vice versa. So this is how you pretty much set up these two. Okay. So let's say you've set this up now and uh, now you want to set up the payment methods, right? So over here, MemberPress has its own payment methods. So you can come over here to MemberPress and uh, you can set up all your payments here by clicking this plus button. And this is where you can add, let's say, PayPal. And uh, you can set up uh, Stripe as well. Let's say, for example, this one here is uh, PayPal. You can click on this drop down and then choose PayPal. If you want to uh, add another one, that could be Stripe. So that's how easy it is to, to add these. But if you want to use, let's say, for example, something like WooCommerce, this is where you just leave it blank and you can just say, let's just call it uh, WooCommerce here. So this now is going to be our main one. I'm just going to hit update. So this now becomes our payment option. So if you want to use WooCommerce as your payment gateway, remember over here, you can come to Learn Dash LMS and click on add ons. So we are going to now activate WooCommerce for Learn Dash, and this is where you activate it. So I've already gone ahead and activated WooCommerce for Learn Dash. Okay. So what you need to do now is to set your courses over here now on your products, your WooCommerce products. And uh, I'm going to add another one here and I'm going to call it how to create a course. There we go. How to create a course. So this is going to be our course. Now we're going to set our price. And uh, in fact, let me just click on this drop down here and set it to course. We're going to set our price and let's say this is 97. And then what we can also do here on the Learn Dash courses, you can see on the drop down it says how to create a course. So I can link it up with that, which is brilliant. And over here on the right, I can set my product image if I need to. And that just works great when I uh, set up all my funnels using ConvertKit. So I'm going to hit publish now. So when someone buys this course, they are going to be linked now to this particular course in Learn Dash. So this is how the integration from WooCommerce and Learn Dash actually works. So they buy a product in WooCommerce and they get linked up with the course in Learn Dash. Okay, so that's pretty much how it is. So Learn Dash, if you recall, has a connection with MemberPress. And uh, this is where if I come over here to memberships and I take a look here, I can see bought my course students and how to create a course students. So all this is already linked. And let me just show you where that links. So if I come over here to courses on Learn Dash and I click on edit. So here on uh, this course on how to create a course, if I scroll down over here to the right side, I can then select my associated memberships and I can click here on this drop down. And now you can see I have bought my course or how to create a course students. So if I select that, that pretty much just connects MemberPress and Learn Dash and uh, WooCommerce is connected with Learn Dash and everything is working well now. So now I can just hit update and pretty much that's all I need to do. And there's also another setting here. If I come over here to settings, uh, this is where uh, our cart flows now works. Now, you know, when you have, let's say uh, your website all set and you've created your sales page, you, this is where you can set your sales page here to work with whichever page, your landing page that you've created for this particular course. And this is where 
cut flows comes in. So as you can see, everything now is working really well, all in one as a unified machine. So this is the right way to set up all your plugins to work well together to create an online course website. And also this applies if you want to create a membership website. So uh, all you have to do for a membership website is just exclude the learn dash part of it. But uh, pretty much the idea is the same. This is how you put it all together. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you buy any of these plugins, they're in the video description below. You get access to the courses associated with them. All you have to do is to send me a receipt to funnels to income.com on the bottom right. I have a chat bubble there. Just send me that and I will give you access to the courses. Simple as that. Uh, the idea here is to make things easier for you when you buy these plugins and it just gets you up and running really, really fast. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and you just need to smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.